with the washer disconnected from the wall outlet, open the top panel. Then remove the front panel. Remove the belt. Disconnect the water level hose from the tub. Disconnect this hose from the tub. Remove all the suspension springs. Grab the complete tub assembly, lift it right up, and take it right out. Now be careful, don't go banging it, because the tub is plastic and you could crack it. Then turn it upside down so you could work on it. It'll be easier if you could get somebody to give you a hand to remove it. To replace the brake assembly, do the following. Remove the grease cover. Remove the E-clip, the washer, the transmission pulley, and the truss bearing. Mark the location of two screws and remove them. Get two number 12 self drilling sheet metal screws about inch and a half long, like this. Screw them all away on the holes that you remove the two screws from. Remove these four screws. Unscrew the two long screws a little bit at a time, alternating from one screw to the next one until there's no more pressure from the brake spring. Then you can take them out. Now you can remove all the brake parts, including the snubber ring. Clean the base real good with alcohol and start reassembling the brake parts. Screw the two long screws on the holes that you marked before. Screw them a little bit at a time, alternating from one screw to the next screw until the screws are all the way in. Make sure that the snubber ring is all the way in in position before you screw the screws all the way in, okay? And screw in the other four screws. Install the truss bearing, the transmission pulley, the washer, and do the following to install the E-clip. Stick a small screwdriver on the groove on the shaft, then press down to lift the shaft. Now you have space to install the E-clip. Use a needle nose pliers to drive it in. And install the grease cap. Grab the complete assembly and turn it. Have somebody help you if it's too heavy for you. Now be careful, you don't want to bang it or drop it or you will crack the tub. Put it right through here and set it in place. Make sure that this label is facing the front. Install the six suspension springs using the spring tool like this. Install the tub to pump hose and the water level switch hose to the tub. Install the belt. Install the front panel, lower the top panel, and you're done.